I'm not going to explain how to flash these hex files or, you know, uh, compile and flash it with Arduino. If we need another video, I can do that. Um, one thing I just wanted to put out there as a warning, do not forget to unplug the JST connectors from the steel PDB to the flight controller when you're doing the flashing. That is very important. Another thing to note uh, is on the KISS OSD GitHub, there's a KISS OSD build and there's a steel PDB build. Make sure you're using the steel PDB build for this video. All right, so you want to make sure your crossfire is on and bound. You can do this on battery power. I'm just, I got a USB plugged in for right now. Come over to the Tyrannus. You want to hold down the menu button. Then you want to page over once. You want to go down to crossfire. You want to run crossfire Lua. You got to hold enter there and then tap for execute. Yeah. And what you want to go do is uh, hit down twice. Go to micro RX. You can see right there, channel 6, which is aux 2, because um, channel 1 through 4 are, you know, uh, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and channel 5 I'm using for arm. So channel 6, coming from the receiver to the flight controller, I have link quality. So once you get that part set up, your receiver is good. And now what you got to do is go into the uh, Steel PDB config firmware. Okay, so now that we're in the config firmware, um, I'll wear my goggles and recording on the DVR for this. You want to go down to display, and then there'll be an option for RSSI. And you can see here we're on AUX2, which is channel 6, as I explained before. Um, and using the KISS GUI, I was able to determine that the min using a crossfire with KISS was actually 1095. Uh, we can't get to that degree of accuracy, so 1090 should be fine for this. Um, I previously had it at 1000, 2000, and it was still fine, so I'm, I'm good with this change. And the same for max. Um, the real max is actually 1995. 1990 should be fine. So then we're going to go down to icons, and I set this icon off. If you turn it on, you get Wi-Fi indicator bars instead of the value. I prefer to see the value in the OSD. Uh, so you back out of here, and you go to set items, and down the bottom, uh, you want to make sure RSSI is on. I'm going to flick it here a couple of times because it's hard to see. I left the Swift OSD on. i got to turn that off. But So you set that to on, you go to save, and then you're all set. Uh, don't forget to flash back the uh, OSD firmware.